How to buy crypto in the Trust Wallet app easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can buy crypto in the Trust Wallet app. So let's get into it. Now, there are two ways that you can buy crypto in the Trust Wallet app. You can even transfer crypto from your Binance exchange or any other exchange, and you can transfer it into your Trust Wallet app, or you can directly buy on Trust Wallet as well. So, how do you buy on Trust Wallet? Well, first off, we're going to create our new wallet, and you're just going to create a passcode for your wallet, just like this. And once you have done that, you will get a secret recovery phrase. Now, if your secret recovery phrase is lost, it will be your own issue because if your recovery phrase is lost, you will not be able to access your account again. So it's very essential that you actually make sure that you have this written down somewhere or you just keep it somewhere. So make sure you do that before you get started with, you know, going ahead and setting up your account because you want your recovery phrase to be safe. Now, I will just verify my recovery phrase and I will get back to you guys in one second. So once you have successfully verified your secret recovery phrase, your wallet will be created. Now you can see over here, once your wallet is created, this is going to be your dashboard and below at the bottom of your screen, you're going to find a navigation panel. You have your discover section, you have a browsing section, and then you have your basic settings and then you have your basic wallet. Now, the first thing that you can do to buy any crypto token on the Trust Wallet platform or to just buy crypto is simply by going ahead and clicking on buy on the top over here and you can choose any of these tokens to buy. So let's say you want to buy Ethereum, just select Ethereum and you will get the estimated or approximate value over here and you can change this into any other currency of your choice and get the conversion from there. Now below that you also have your providers. So they will show you the different providers that you can buy from. You have Ramp, you will have Binance, you have Mercuro, you have Transax. So so they will also show you the best price that they are getting from the different providers. Now for each crypto token, you might be able to find different providers. So for Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's the same. Let's say I want to buy this crypto token. So for this crypto token, I only have two providers. So depending on the token, you might get a couple of different providers and they will show you the approximate level or the approximate exchange rate that you're getting. And you can choose the best rate that you are getting. So you can see that I'm getting a 0.007 BTC rate on Transact. However, on Ramp, I'm getting 0.00726. So that is quite a difference on different platforms and exchanges. So that is the first way you can buy any crypto token. Just select it, enter the amount, click on next over here. And once you click on next, it will open up the provider and you will see the money. And after that, you will just proceed to your total and purchase your crypto. Now, this is one simple way to receive or purchase in your trust wallet if you want to hold money in your trust wallet because it is such a simple, easy to use, secure way that you can, you know, store your crypto in. You can have easy access and transfer it from your mobile phone at any time. Now, another way is if you click on your receive button, you can get Ethereum. And let's say I have like a Ethereum on my Binance account. So I will click on receive. I will click on Ethereum and I will simply click on copy over here. And then what I will do is I will go back into Binance. And once I go into Binance, I will go into my Binance wallet is that you can click on deposit or currently I don't have any crypto tokens, but you're just going to click on send crypto and you will simply enter the wallet address that you copied from your trust wallet onto Binance for you to be able to transfer to Binance. So you can see I'm just going to turn off Binance Lite. We're going to go into the normal version of Binance. So this is the normal version of Binance and you can go into your wallets over here. And once you go into your wallet, you can simply click on deposit crypto and you can transfer crypto from your trust wallet into Binance as well. But a simple way is to just buy on the Binance platform. And once you have bought on the Binance platform, you can simply withdraw it or send it. So you can just click on the send options and send it to your actual crypto wallet. So you can click on transfer over here. 
and then you're going to enter your amount and then you can simply add the wallet address and that is a simple way for you to be able to send money from or purchase crypto into your trust wallet or transfer it and that is simple because a lot of the times the exchange rates that you get on trust wallet are not going to be as lucrative you can usually find a lower rate on a exchange and you can get a lower price from a crypto exchange and rather than directly buying from you know like the wallet so it's going to give you a little lower in prices you can buy crypto for lower prices on binance and then simply send it to your trust wallet now the best part about using trust wallet is that they support so many different currencies as well as nfts so you can receive nfts from any of these blockchains over here and if you go into your settings you can see your wallet and the information so you have a basic wallet and you can create multiple different wallets on a singular application that is another feature that a lot of people find super helpful whenever they are using the trust wallet application because you can create multiple wallets on a singular account and you can manage your funds a little more easily you can put one wallet as a savings wallet and the other one as a basic exchange wallet so that is how easy and simple it is to purchase crypto now you can see you have multiple different exchange options you have the different tokens available directly on the trust wallet platform as well as the fact that you can swap it so you can see you can swap bnb you can swap any token for a different token you can swap like let's say you bought ethereum but now you don't want to keep ethereum you want to buy some altcoins instead you can easily swap them or you can even go into a exchange platform and exchange directly on the trust wallet platform so you'll be able to monitor exchange prices and a lot of the times if you're just someone that has like a long-term investment in crypto it is super effective to just keep a simple wallet like trust wallet keeping your crypto savings in your trust wallet you can monitor the exchange rates as well and this will just be a simpler and more efficient way for you to manage your fund so now trust wallet is not only just helpful for purchasing crypto but you can also send it and you also have the discover section where they show you DeFi token lending and borrowing smart chain as well other DeFi utilities that you can avail so make sure to check that section out as well so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video